All right, YouTube. So I'm gonna make a couple of videos today with the 450. But we start off by saying yesterday I came down to make a video. It was raining pretty bad, and the uh, shooting bench got a metal roof, and they were pretty obnoxious. But got my hand, uh, got my hands on some Acura number nine powder. And I've been wanting to try it for a while. And there's a lot of conflicting load data. Like Hornady's max load is like around 30s, thir low 30s, 30, 32 grains. Uh, the, the lead dives give you load data with Acura powders, Western powders, and theirs went up to about 39. And then Western, their actual load data went up to 40. And I started off with a, a grain, uh, charge of 38 grains, and I went 38, 39, 40. The 38 grains were already at probably max pressure before I even started. So I fired one shot of 39 grain and I stopped. It was too much pressure. I was getting massive pressure signs. So 38 would have been about the max limit and that was pushing it over. So what I did was I went back and pulled the bullets and I reloaded these. I loaded up 35 and a half, 36 and a half, and 37 and a half grains of accurate number nine. 200 grain FTX because I wanted to try a little faster burning powder compared to the slower burning powders with these lighter bullets to see what happens. So we're going to shoot three shots for each and uh, check the accuracy. So 100 yards is how far we're shooting. It's a little windy today, but hopefully it doesn't really affect these big bullets. So start off shooting these. It's cold out today, so the barrel cooled out fast. And hopefully they shoot good. And the powder I've been wanting to try, I've never used it for anything, even for the 44 Magnum and everything. So let's see what kind of accuracy we get out of it. Here we go. Soft recoil. Slightly flat primer like one. Pressure looks good. Well, yeah, hopefully you can see that. That's probably every bit of a two inch group for three first three shots. So let's go by, back and we'll try the, the uh, 36 and a half. All right, I'll be quite frank with you, that was a really pleasant load to shoot. Wasn't a lot of muzzle blast, not a lot of recoil. I'm actually going to let my youngest son use this gun for deer this year. So that's might be a load I choose. Really, really nice shoot. Accuracy wasn't the greatest, but still very little recoil. All right, here we go. Thirty-six and a half green. A little bit more power there. Slightly flattened primer, same as what we usually see. Not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was bad. All right, last one. I'm not throwing the greatest groups, but let's go check it out. Well, yeah, here it is. Probably two, two and a half inch group, but. So not real great, but I mean it's still minute a deer. Let's go back and try the 37 and a half, see what happens. Alright. Accuracy ain't the greatest, but it's a really pleasant load to shoot. Not a lot of recoil. Not real loud like some of the other loads. Actually not bad. I mean it's 
if it was a little bit tighter group, but nice pleasant load to shoot compared to some of them. So let's try the 37 and a half and this will be it. Alright, here we go. Still not real bad. I mean granted I got a lot of clothes on. Flat and primer, but it's nothing nothing to be worried about. It's like got this like a still has some roundness to it, but it's slightly flat. but nothing major. Let's go check out this group. There we go. That's more like it. That's a, about a one inch group right there. Every bit. I'm happy with that. That's 37 and a half grains. So that's a pretty good load. Let's go back and we'll wrap this up. Well, that load actually ain't bad. It's with the accurate number nine. The recoil on it's really, really soft shooting. It's probably the softest powder that I've shot so far. And it probably had the least amount of muzzle blast. Some of them charges, you know, the load were just obnoxiously loud. And, and they got a pretty good amount of recoil. But that was really soft shooting. And, I mean, I'm wearing earplugs, but you can tell, like, the muzzle blast wasn't as bad. But yesterday... At 38 and 39 grains, my accuracy was about an inch and a half, two inches there. So 37 and a half seemed pretty good. Now, there's a lot of conflicting data with the accurate number nine, so you got to watch what you're loading with this powder. Yeah. I would like highly recommend starting really low and working up because, like I said, the 38 grains was probably your max. Like I wouldn't, I was. I wrapped it up as soon as I shot 39. That way it was too much. So 37 and a half seemed like the pressure was still under control and real good accuracy. Now it should be still going probably about 2300, 24 maybe from what I, you know, what I found. So that's still not a, not an easy, you know, a, a slow load. But so maybe if you're thinking about using that powder, that'll this will help. So. Anyways, that's it for this one, so thanks for watching, and like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.